Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. It's Brandon with Campbell Fitness and today's video is going to talk about a more fun yeah! subject than we normally do. Which isn't to say what we talk about normally isn't fun, oh. but in this case we're going to throw all credible research, studies, science, everything out the window and just kind of shoot from the hip and just talk about an interesting subject. Now this subject comes from one of you viewers who actually made a comment on one of the videos saying, how come people that go to prison come out of prison looking so jacked without having proper nutrition or training protocols in place? So I thought this might be something fun to talk about. Now with this, please keep in mind, these are only my opinions. So if you agree, disagree, great, let me know. Also, if I'm missing something that's somewhat obvious why you think this is the case, please let me know in the comments section below as well. Now for this, I will also say that I've talked to several of my friends who work in the correctional facility systems, both on the high end and low end, and they've gone ahead and kind of confirmed what I've already thought. So this is why I say what I say. Now the first thing I wanna talk about is the fact that most of the people coming out of prison who are in good shape go into prison looking somewhat the same as well. The reason being as we all know from years and years and years of trying to gain muscle and build muscle with proper nutrition, training, sleeping, everything under the sun that we can think of to gain muscle, we've seen pretty slow results for the most part. So it's not realistic to think that somebody goes into prison and all of a sudden they come out a year later looking jacked. This isn't Dragon Ball Z with their hyperbolic chambers and things like that and power levels of over 9,000. It's over 9,000! What, 9,000? There's no way that can be right! It's just not the case. It's not realistic to think so. However, this kind of brings me to my next point, and that is the fact that it's not impossible to get anabolic steroids or other drugs or things that are even forbidden from prison, like MP30 players if you're Little no, Wayne, baby in prison from the guard systems or through other inmates. Now, I read sites like Barstool Sports, if you guys are familiar with that, they had an article there the other day of some guy who was getting processed as he was about to spend a couple of months serving a prison term, and while he was being processed, he had a balloon shoved up his bum full of prescription painkillers that burst, and they had it on video, and it looked like his butt was shooting out Skittles. Now it's not impossible to get anabolic steroids in there otherwise either. So for someone going in who doesn't have anything better to do or maybe who just wants to experiment with anabolic steroids, it's not impossible for them to get their hands on them. So a person going into prison and spending some years in there and also spending some years using anabolic steroids, they could very well potentially come out having more muscle mass in place. This also brings up the fact that although nutrition is very important to what we're trying to do, you can still have not the best nutritional plan in place and still see results. I'm sure a lot of us have seen that in the past, maybe when we first started lifting, especially for our beginner gains, where as long as we were in the gym training and our nutrition maybe was just whatever we felt like eating or we weren't tracking our macros, that doesn't mean we didn't see any gains. So for the person who's in the prison system who maybe is has a set intake and things like that and can't control a lot of the protein they get, if they have an adequate training program in place, they will still get muscle gains. However, they might not just be the most optimal. And a big problem, I think, with this, why we assume that people go into prison or these prisoners are these big, huge, jacked people, is mostly due to television and movies. Now, think about whenever you see a movie or a TV show where your favorite character goes into prison, he's usually surrounded by these big, huge, muscular, scary-looking guys, guys that are covered in tattoos, all sorts of stuff to make prison look to be as scary as possible. The reason being is they're really trying to play up the atmosphere. How scary would it be if you saw your favorite person go into prison and they're surrounded by a couple of 170 pound males? Probably not that scary. So the perception here is that they're big and they're scary. However, in reality, it's not the case. If you watch any of these real police shows, cops included, but on like A&E and Bravo and maybe the History Channel, I don't know what channel it is for sure, where they go into these high security end prisons. You don't see these really huge, big, muscular guys. Now true, there are a couple of them in there, but the vast majority of the population is normal like you and me. So again, movies and TV shows really play this up to make the atmosphere more scary than it is. So when it comes down to it, prisoners go into prison, do they get bigger than anyone else would? No. If they're big coming out, chances are they're a big going in or they're on anabolic steroids. It's simple as that. Now, again, you probably might have some difference of opinion on this, so I'd be more than happy to hear them. As always, everybody, thanks so much for watching. Stay big and out of prison. Yes, hello. All right, relax. Stay. Wait, what's that? Look at that. Look. You
you don't care. No. Anyway. Hey, what's up, Are you serious? Look at this. Dog knows what he likes. Anyways, what's up everybody? Welcome back. It's Brandon with Campbell Fitness. And today's video is gonna be a little bit different than stuff